So let's go ahead and uh, dust that water bottle, get it out of the way. Oh, I missed. I wanted to break out my Marlin 3030. I was able to acquire this gun at a gun show from an individual. Uh, he brought it in there to sell it, and he was asking 350 or 300. That's what he told me. I said, "Well, I'll give you 300 cash right now for it." And it turned out to be a really great little shooting gun. It's a model 336, of course, and uh, this is a 1970 model gun. You can tell that. Let's see if I can flip it around here. Based off of this right here. 1970. It's a 100 year anniversary. Yeah, it's it's got some wear on it. Uh, just typical wear of a gun, but I bought this thing to be a shooter, and it is a shooter. I love plinking with this little 30-30. I put a uh, little True go Glow scope on it, nothing much, and I think it's a fixed four power scope, but uh, I was able to zero it in, and I think I zeroed it at uh, 75 yards, I believe. I can't recall. Uh, may have been 50. But anyway, that's my Marlin. 336 and 3030. So I've got uh, three rounds in the Marlin uh, 3030. I'm going to shoot that water bottle first and then shoot uh, the plate, the 50 yard plate a couple of times. The uh, water bottle, I'm going to shoot standing up. The plate, I'll have to sit down because I've got tree branches in the way. So let's go ahead and uh, Bust that water bottle, get it out of the way. Oh. 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 I missed. Let me try that again. Let's see if we can't hit that plate out there. There we go. That's the Marlin 336 and 3030. Really fun gun to shoot.